Hello. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create an agent using ADK. This is the weather agent where I am creating it. Asking a question, what is the weather like in Detroit? And it gives you the answer. Let's create this using ADK. Now, in order to do this, let's do a quick recap from the previous uh, video. In the previous video, we discussed what is ADK. ADK is a agent development kit developed by Google. It's an open source framework to create uh, agents, develop agents, and deploy agents. The good thing is it is open source. That means you're not connected or tied or locked down only by Google models. You can use any models anywhere on any platform. doesn't have to be even GCP ecosystem. Having said that, uh, this is what we discussed the last time as well. Here we talked about that any framework can be used to develop any agent, and that agent needs to be deployed on agent's engine. And then optionally, you can register this agent onto an agent space. We are going to talk about agent space today and you can create any agents using ADK, LangGraph, LangChain. So in this series of tutorials, I'm gonna to talk to you about how to create agents using different frameworks like Google ADK, LangGraph, LangChain. And when we use that, we deploy that on a common platform known as Agents Engine. More to come. You will see everything live in action in this video. So as we discussed, ADK, is agent development kit, you need to basically define root agent. This is the root root agent. I'm doing a quick recap. In the previous video, I have talked about it in detail. So you need the root agent, make sure you have it. And then you can have any number of sub agents. You need to define sub agents in the root agent, research agent. And this research agent can have a tool, can have a sub agent by itself, it can be a network of agents. Next, this is the development flow. This is what we need to work on today. Today, we are going to use an IDE, Visual Studio Code, to develop our agents. You would need to do the same thing. The code which I'm gonna be using in this video is in a Git repository, details of which are shared in the video description section below. So I'm gonna use the IDE. You can Git clone the code and use your IDE, your favorite IDE. Step two, you need to test your agent using the command ADK web. Agent development kit provides you an option to test your agent before deploying. Then, you need to deploy your agents in Agent Engine. I'm going to show you how. And then register your and use your agent using Agent Space, which is the Google uh, platform for managing and using agents from a single pane of glass. Or you can also develop a custom app. So I'm going to show you both the methods in the video. This video is completely loaded. So let's kick it off. Now, what we are going to do is create a weather agent, the agent that I showed you earlier in the video. Test the weather agent. We are going to test it using ADK web. I'm going to show you how. Deploy the weather agent and then register the weather, weather agent by in agent space or through a custom app. All right, so we are going to focus on this and we will do it. Now let's look at the code real quick. So these are the steps which we are going to do. Number one, we are going to use the package google.adk.agents import agent. That is the place where the agent um, class or inst uh, method is inst instantiated or package is received. Required a root agent. So we are going to create a root agent. That is the minim, minimum basic requirement. 
and then we will define either tools or and sub agents in this case for weather dot weather, weather agent we're going to use an api now this is the folder structure you can have a parent folder known as weather agent and then your your agent should have this folder structure with agent.py uh, should have a root underscore agent. You're going to see all of this today. Use local IDE because you're a developer, you're developing an agent. Use your favorite, your comfortable. You can also do it in Colab. It's going to take a little bit of setup, but IDE is perfectly fine. Then we are going to use a script known as deploy, deployment script, deploy the agent to AE, which is agents engine. And then you can register the agent onto the agent space or to any custom app. So let's go take a look. I am going to now show you, once you do a git clone of the repository, you can, so, okay. Now you are able to see weather agent here. In this <clears throat> weather agent, so this is your parent folder. Remember the folder structure? This is the parent folder. Underneath this, you have weather agent. You need to have an ENV file. An ENV file looks like this. We're going to talk about it later. And within the weather agent, you need init and agent. Init is normally a blank file or whatever you want to initiate. But agent.py has the code. <clears throat> we are going to walk you through the code in a little bit. Then you will have the script deploy underscore agent dot py. This is where using this script, we are going to deploy the agent and then you can test it or you can create a custom app UI to interact with the agent. So let's do it. So <clears throat> let's go to agent.py and look at the code right here. And then you would see Let's let's look at the code in detail. So in the weather agent, you define a root underscore agent. I'm using a model, Gemini 2.5 flash. The name of the agent is weather underscore agent. And this is the instruction. Very simple. This instruction says that this is a conversational tool and you should use get weather data tool. And in the tools, I am mentioning get weather data. You can walk through this code by yourself. Of course, it's very simple to understand. And then I'm setting the temperature as 0 0.7. You can set it between zero to two. And you know the lower the temperature, more deterministic the response is. So this is how I'm defining a root agent. Very simple model, name, instruction, tools, and generate content config. Now this is the weather agent definition. This get weather data is looking at this API with an API key. I have changed the API key uh, in the environment variable so that you can take a look at it, but obviously you need to register on weatherbit.io. Go to weatherbit.io and register an API key. And based on this request, a response is received from the API with the weather details, and then we format the output. Make sense? So let's do this, these steps. I'm going to walk you through really quick in the IDE, and I'm going to show you how you can test it as well. So let's take a look here. So this is your IDE. And you will go clone the repository, use weather agent. In, inside the weather agent, you have a weather underscore agent folder and you go to agents.py. These are the import. You have environment variable loaded. We are gonna talk about an environment variable in a minute. You have root underscore agent here. And then you also have get weather data right here. Make sense? Okay. And this is the format in which a user is going to get a response back. Let's look at the env file. Obviously, this API key is not valid as well as the weather bit API key is not valid. 
I'm going to use Vertex AI. So you need to have a GCP project or you can use Google AI Studio. I have showed both the options in the previous video. This is the location. This is my project name. This is the storage bucket, which I'm going to use. Uh, you can create a cloud storage bucket. It's very simple. Um, you can create a storage bucket by using this. So I'm going to share the weed, the screen, how to create a storage bucket. Bucket, you go here on your in, in your Google project, search on storage, click on buckets, and it'll give you an option to create a bucket. Very simple. There are lots of documentation out there. Okay, so now my agent is created. I'm gonna test the agent, weather agent here. So I'm gonna go back to my IDE, uh, make sure that you have the ENV variable, uh, environment variable completely set, and type ADK web. Remember, ADK web. And what it, it is gonna do is, it's gonna give you a local option to test the agent without having to deploy it. So I click on follow link and it takes me right here. So it says what is weather like in Detroit. So I go here, you can look at how the entire program is run. I click on events and you would see multiple function calls. I click on this text and you would see that the weather agent was able, this is a root agent, was able to call the tool get underscore weather data. And this is your detail on how the entire process happened. This was the request. It was to model Gemini flash. This, this was the sync system instruction, tools, and how the entire flow happened. And this was the response back from the, from the API. Good. Now let's go deploy this agent in agent space. Sorry, uh, in agents engine. So I'm going to go deploy this in agent space or uh, agents engine. So let's see how to do that. I'm going to run Python 3. This is running the Python command deploy underscore agent dot py. This is the Python file. I'm, when I'm gonna run it, and I'm not gonna do it right now because it takes a little bit of time, it is going to deploy the agent in a location here. I'm gonna talk to you about this in a second. So let's go take a look at deploy underscore agents. So there is a file known as deploy underscore agent, and you would see that I'm using environment variable to set few variables here. You init a vertex AI, you define an ADK app, and then you create an engine, agent engine dot create with the variable. That's it, very simple. This can be modified to deploy any agent, and I'm gonna show you as and when we go, but this is how you deploy a resource. And once deployed, you can see the agent under agents engine. So what you're gonna do is go back to Google console and search on the top agents engine. When you go to agent engine, you would see that a weather underscore agent was deployed. You can click on deployment details and it will tell you where the folder, like the storage bucket is, what the environment variable look like, and then click on API URL. You would see how to make an API call. Under the deployment details, this is what the reasoning engine is. Every agent that is deployed on the agent engine gets a URL like this. This is the URL. We are gonna go update in the env file or agent space let me show it to you real quick so how to go to agent space to search on 
AI applications on Google console, you would see agent space. You can create an app like this. Click on create agent space app, provide a name and click on create. That's it. Once you create an agent space app, you would see an app like this. And there is another video which I'm gonna launch or, or, or create based on completely around agent space, but I'm just showing you. Go to config, click on assistant and click on add an item. I've already added weather agent. Copy the URL that you have copied from the agents engine from here. This is the URL which you need to copy and provide a name, provide a quick instruction. That's it, save and publish. Once you have published, you can get the app URL like this. Just copy it and go here, paste it. And then under the agents, you would see, these are the agents which are already by default made by Google. And then this is your weather agent that we just created. Click on it and it's gonna connect to the agent. And you can say, what is, what is the weather like in Detroit? And it is going to give you the response. So you saw how an agent which was created, how an agent which was created in agents engine, or deployed to agents engine created through an ADK gets to agent space. Very simple step on how to do this. Now, I, you can test it with UI. So let me show you how you can use a custom app and use the same engine. So let's do it. I'm gonna go back to the IDE. and you would see UI underscore test. This is a custom app using Gradio that we have created in order to interact with an agent engine resource. Okay, so agents engine resource name is what you need. So in the ENV, look at the last one, agents engine resource name and paste the URL of the agents engine. Remember the URL that you pasted in the, this is the URL. Projects, project name locations and reasoning engine. And once you paste it, just save this, go back to the terminal. Uh, okay. And then I'm gonna use this stamp simple. You don't need to change anything in the UI test. Just say Python three UI test. And it's gonna give you a URL where you can run the same application. You can deploy this on a cloud run, a GKE instance, an app engine, or wherever you would like. So again, UI test is gonna give you an option to look at that. So now this is the URL. And I've opened this URL here. Not here, my bad. I can open the URL right here. And now you can see that weather agent is there. And I can say, what is the weather like in Detroit? And you would see all the tool calls. So what I showed you is an app that was created, a custom app, and then you can use the same reasoning engine in the custom app. In the videos to come, we are gonna talk about MCP server, A to A, and a lot of things around agent space. Again, thank you for watching.